Well, thanks for joining me again on another fantastic Friday with the Luxurious Lounge. I'm your host with the most custom beard oils on the table. <laughs> Sorry. Let's have a moment of silence for Pete's coffee. I know you guys can taste it. Mm. All right, we have a lot to talk about. Another round of customs. And guys, I've literally been working all week trying to do this and that and this and that and that thing and this and a bunch of this stuff and some big stuff that just went out. I still have probably 30 more to go. It's a lot of work. So thank you for being patient. Thank you. All right, quickly, smoke of the lounge is uh, Kentucky Fire Cured Cigars. These ones are the sweet, Kentucky Fire Sweet. This is the Fat Molly. I don't know if you can see it correctly. Um, and then I picked these up because I thought it was cool. It's the same, the same thing except for it comes in these little Look at these little guys. The same thing, but tiny, I guess you'd call these like cigarillos, cigarillos. Anyway, just thought that was neat I to share that. So I haven't had one of these in a while. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Hopefully you guys had a great week. All I gotta say is uh, interesting times we live in. I need to go and fill up all my gas tanks because <laughs> gas out here in California, I don't know what it is, how it is and what it is where you live, but out here, cheap gas, 87 is like over $5 a gallon now. Comment below. Uh, city, city, state, and price per gallon. Kind of would like to know. All right. So this again is the Kentucky Fire Cured Sweet Cigar, the Fat Molly, which is a five by fifty-six. And I actually think it's. Oh, man. If you guys can smell this, I actually think this. I love this size cigar. It's nice and fat. Good length. Mm. My handy dandy V Cutter 1000 in this 750 pound cigar tray. I think if you know what this is, you know who it's from. Yeah, Br solid brass has a little, the insert comes out, which I think is cool, so you can empty your tray. Look at that, even has the logo on the inside. Shout out to Jeremy. Look at the fit on this. I don't know if you guys can catch this. Look at the precision CNC fitment. Watch this, it'll just slide right in. It, it did it before, I mean, yeah, look at that. You guys see that? It just, that is precision. And it just, it's so damn sexy, patina. What does he always say? Patina, patina, patina. Okay, let's get this bad boy cut. Mm -hmm. And this, I don't know if you missed my other episode, but this is a flat flame lighter by Xcar. Love this size mm. and the taste of that. 
even the taste on the on the mouth. It smells like an old leather boot when you smell it, but don't let it fool you. Mm. All right, let's uh, talk about stuff coming for Sunday. the meat and potatoes. All right, I'm putting two things up for sale uh, for Sunday. Uh, one of them being the Swagger Bastard, and that was my, um, uh, my version of, uh, oh, I forget that company, but it's, it's their Swagger or swag uh, that's in only have a few left in the oil and butter I only made the oil and butter on that one because I didn't have enough ingredients to do a huge batch so I'm gonna be putting those up for I think $9.99 then um, I've also got uh, the second one up for sale let me do that one first is mystic that was a banger um, a few left on those in the oil balm and butter and then we have Baywood, Colombian, uh, Baco Bay, and Manly. Uh, those ones uh, will also be available in all three, oil, bomb, and butter. Mm. This is so good. Man, I miss these. in it okay squirrel uh, so we got co-wash I got another small batch of co-wash ready uh, another small batch of the, the sacred body wash and finally I was able to get uh, the bottles I needed for the women's essential rollers and we went ahead and did all four uh, profiles which is glow breath romance and passion I'll probably put a a cool little b-roll like somewhere right over here all right hopefully I was able to make that work otherwise I just look pretty ridiculous so those will be going up Sunday uh, at usual time uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time I send out the email Saturday letting you guys know what's coming so make sure to go to the website subscribe to the newsletter if you haven't done so already also hit the thumbs up button go while I partake okay ready now, talked about Sunday, let's get on to round two, customs. Last week I kind of goofed up a couple of them and I, I apparently I, even though I talked about them, I forgot to put them up on the lounge, but when I did, the, uh, I got a customer, <laughs> you guys are gonna have to beat this guy for these private stocks because my buddy John insane sent me a, a shot of his collection I think he had like there was two cabinets lit up with like lights in them and everything M must have been more than 70 different things that I saw it was it's more than what I got and I think he grabbed like six or seven of the different customs so <laughs> you guys are gonna have to be quick to draw Saturday. Now remember, Saturday I'm going to be putting them up at, oh, let's see, I got that thing to do on Saturday. What time should I put them up? Should I do an evening Saturday or, hmm, comment below what time Saturday. I think I did them at 2 p.m. 
on Saturday last week, but I had a lot of people getting confused going you know, to the site on Sunday and like, where's the customs? When they were already up, they were sold. So definitely gonna put them up Saturday. Sunday would just be a nightmare because uh, you know, all the rest of the stuff that's going up. I think I tried to do that once before and it was just a, a cluster. Another thing, if you do plan on grabbing one of these Saturday and you my what I'd like you to do is say you want to grab this and you also want to grab something on Sunday. Buy this, pay for the shipping. Then if you place an order on Sunday, um, select the option for pickup. That way it won't charge you for the shipping. Then I can, it's a lot easier for me to go into, you know, 200, 300 orders and find the pickups to add to the, the orders that were already placed. So if you do that, make sure to send a carrier pigeon, you know, uh, Morse code, something. Let me know like, hey, I grabbed, you know, Sadu and I also want to get this other thing on Sunday so uh, we can combine them. Because if you grab this and then you grab something else and then I get a lot of emails where like, oh, can you combine those? Like a lot of times I print everything out in the order it was received. So I might have this boxed up and ready to go before I get to another order from you that says pick up and I'm like, oh crap, you know, and now I got to go in and open up the other package and it's just a, it just, uh, throws a rinse in the situation. <laughs> so just make sure to let me know. Text message, email, something. That way, first thing in the morning, Monday, I can pull these and then pull your other order and combine them together. Damn, this is so good. I forgot how good these were. Mm. All right. With that being said, let's do oils first. Everything here is, uh, I think there's only one triple, but everything else has a matching something, butter or balm. This is so hard to put down. Mm. All right. Make sure I'm still recording. Okay, we're good. Whew. All right, first one, oil only, self-explanatory. He wanted a kind of a spicy chai tea profile. And it is exactly that. This is, this reminds me of a place, but I just can't put my finger on it. And it's not spicy like, like, jalapeno or like a real spicy cinnamon it just has that little little twing twing twang of it's subtle but it's there spicy chai oil only next interesting that's that was about <laughs> the the best name that I could come up with this one I don't have the computer which has all of my ingredients on it so I'm just, I'm, I'm like you guys, I'm smelling it for the first time. Actually, second time. <sighs> yeah, see, it's just interesting. I, I don't even remember what I put in it. Definitely some leather in there, I believe, but not very strong. Also, if you grab any of these, make sure to send me an email afterwards you know let me know did you like it did you not like it because otherwise it's just like well okay feedback is important good or bad even if it smells like cat piss all right next up winter chill 
this one I do remember. Mountain air, pine trees, but not strong pine. Um, earthy. <sighs> Snow on the ground. You can smell a, a hint of like mint in the air. <sighs> the moss in the trees. That's winter chill in oil only. Next one, I even like the name, um, Luxbury. Sweet, old-fashioned cologne. Not, not too sweet though. It's, it's not as sweet as luxurious bastard, but it has that, it's like a vintage and luxurious had a baby that was old, <laughs> an old baby, uh, it would be Luxbury. High class, old, old style cologne. All right. Sadu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this guy wanted earthy, holy, manly, and that's what I delivered. Very earthy and holy. Reminds me of like, like a Buddhist monk, if that makes any sense. <laughs> this one will be a uh, balm and the matching oil. It's hard for me to not keep these, but gosh, I got so many that a lot of them I end up just like, because I literally I have like this many plus some more over here in my bathroom. It's it's crazy. And then I got a lot of testers that are just blank, so I don't even know what I'm putting in my beard half the time. All right. This one was PSC. Which was, he wanted a uh, Polo Sport Cologne, so PSC my version of yep I hope he really likes this one because I sure do <sighs> polo sport style cologne I've never smelled polo sport um, you know like in person but hopefully it's close all right Gunslinger. Ooh. Oh, and that's in the bomb, the PSC. Man. Pinch of pinch of leather, cherry, tobacco. And there's a little bit of earthiness in there. Sweaty horse. The gunslinger, uh, butter and oil. Sorry, this it was calling my name. Next up, oh, this was the southern. The good old southern bastard. I haven't done this profile in quite a long time. Peach, oud, cinnamon goodness. Luckily, I had just enough left to do this only. I was going to try to do a, a bomb for it and take it for myself, but it wasn't quite enough. So, butter and oil in the southern. Blackbeard, another one that I did a long time ago. And according to this customer, it's his absolute favorite. I don't know how many of you watching have had the uh, Blackbeard before, but <sighs> yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean in a bottle. 
Mm. Butter and oil. This one was, uh, I nicknamed it ryegrass. Kind of a grassy, earthy, slightly floral, like a hint of, um, like a seasoning spice almost. Mm. Ryegrass, definitely another good one. Different too, like this is a good, refreshing change from like your gunpowder and leather and bourbons and all that, you know. Uh, ryegrass butter and oil. I already know what it smells like, but the, the creator in me wants to smell everything. I'm looking past the screen at a big photo I have of Jack Nicholson smoking a cigar, blowing a ring. Looks like he's enjoying that cigar just as much as I am on this one. Ooh, so good. Mm. And I love the after note that a good cigar like that leaves in the beard. Banana, I call this banana butter. A little bit of banana, a little bit of vanilla. Mm. This reminds me of the banana Laffy Taffy, you know, when you're, when I was a kid. Um, so good, so fresh. And this is one that, yeah, it smells really banana-y, but once you put it in your beard and it mellows out, it kind of changes where Almost, it's, it's like one of those things that you recognize, but you're like, I'm not quite sure. And then if you tell somebody, oh, it's like banana, they're like, yeah, banana. But it's not just going bananas in your face. <laughs> so, uh, banana oil and butter. And I spelled that B-U-T-T-A. Last but not least, this was a tough one. Nicknamed it. The 13th, 13th Bastard. Leave the oil first. All over the place with this one. This one had so many ingredients in it that it was a little bit difficult to make it work. I typically start with the oil first. I smell every ingredient, I'm like, okay, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, three of this, three of that, and then I'll smell it when I'm done, I'm like, mm. look at my recipe, you know, all right, two more drops of this. So a lot of times I'll go through like two or three of these before I get it right to, way, to the way I like it before I produce these. So this was a pretty taxing one, but man, This is one of those where I could probably sell the profile. It's so unique. You can't really pick up, like I know what I put in it and it doesn't smell like that. Put a little bit of that under the stash. All right, just try not to get that bottle oily. So the 13th, balm, butter, and oil. And whew, that is it for this week. But I still have probably at least this, if not a little bit more to knock out next week. Ooh. Now you guys know why I, I only do this, you know, every so often because this would take 
I mean, this, this alone is a full-time job, just doing custom orders. I still gotta make stuff for all the rest of the people that have no idea or they are just discovering, you know, the luxurious brand. Uh, so, whew. and I've gotten tons of messages. When are you opening up customs? Oh, I missed it, oh my gosh. <laughs> While I'm doing customs and I'm like, no, no more customs, not for a minute. But what this allows me to do, um, you know, there's a, a few in here that I might do runs on. So that is very cool. Important that you guys leave me uh, some type of feedback. The person that ordered it, as well as the second person that gets to, you know, lucky enough to experience a one-of-a-kind profile, really. Not another one on the planet. <laughs> Mm. Man, so good. Fat Molly, Kentucky Fire Sweets. Get yourself a sample or something and then uh, let me know how you like it. Well, I think that's about it. We're uh, coming in on 30 minutes already. It's Friday, uh, date night. Mmm. I think that's about it. So, if you like all my videos, make sure to smash the bell, thumbs up, double, yeah, one of those, double tap. No, I don't think you double tap, I think you just tap it. So, till next time, stay safe. Get luxurious, my friends. Have a fantastic weekend. Swagger Baywood, Colombian. Baco Bay, Manly, Mystic. Co-wash, body wash, women's rollers. Whew. You guys still here again? What are you waiting for? The little special thing that's all the way down at the bottom of the uh, description, maybe?